Vinny, police around the airport have to secure this chain link fence, which spans 29 miles around. It's topped with barbed wire. At its highest, it's 10 feet, and at its shortest, it is 7 feet. Now, the director of airport security says they are taking a layered approach to security, starting with all of their 63,000 employees, training them if they see something to say something. You're talking about it's the public side of the airport. No Director of Airport Security Jan Lennon shows us what's protecting Hartsfield Jackson International Airport's perimeter. Right here to your left, that is the area we're talking about. That is the site of fence. This fence is also the site of two airport security breaches in less than a month. The incident two weeks ago happened right there, and right midway there is where he actually scaled the fence and he jumped. 19 year old Jiren Jones caught on camera running up to a plane as it had just landed in his underwear as stunned passengers looked on. You know, make sure his, make sure his, uh, his, his watch car is not on here. Lennon says police arrested Jones within five minutes of hitting the runway. But she also says since the incident, the physical security of the fence has not changed. You would see this fence is the same as it was two weeks ago. When well, I Lennon wouldn't answer many of my questions. She says enhancements to security are ongoing. We also asked about smart fences, a combination of long range security cameras, sensors mixed with wiring and a mobile force that would make the airport safer. Technology and enhancements that you just spoke about are part of our um, recommendations. They are part, they are things that we are aware, uh, are aware of, should I say. The airport says patrols are done inside and outside the perimeter 24 hours a day. It's part of why Lennon says they are ready for any threat. Is Atlanta Hartsfield going to be ready to handle an even bigger breach of security? Hartsfield Jackson has been able to handle every situation that we've had at this airport. Now, you heard Director Lennon talk about enhancements that are being made to the security of this fence here, and I asked her about cost. She wouldn't answer the question about cost, so I posed it to folks on Twitter asking, if it were up to millions of dollars, would you want that money to be spent in order to feel secure and safe at the airport? Some people say yes, while other people say it's not about the fence, it's about leadership, Vinny. All right, Natisha, thanks so much.